This t-shirt has had a long and fulfilling life. It's seen its fair share of wear and tear, but what happens to it now? Today, in Europe alone, approximately 6 million tonnes of textile waste is produced, and that's expected to reach 7.2 million tonnes by 2035. So where does all that textile waste come from? Well, it comes from you and me. It comes from the clothes that we use at home, the household textiles, the fabrics that we wrap ourselves in. In addition, we have other types of textile waste in Europe, such as that coming from commercial businesses, hotels, hospitals, but the majority, 85% of the textile waste that we generate in Europe, comes from us. And did you know, only 35% of the waste we produce is collected, and of that, 1% recycled to create new textile products in a closed loop system. The rest, approximately 90%, ends its life in either landfill, being burned, or downcycled to create things like rags or insulation. And that's really unbelievable. After years of use, washing and drying, exposure to heat and detergents, the fabric of this textile has degraded to the point that it's no longer usable. It needs to be recycled. But how does that happen? In the EU, I would drop it off at a designated collection scheme, either an on-street bin or an in-store collection. The t-shirt would then be collected, sent to a sorting facility and prepared for recycling. So, what does it actually mean to sort and prepare for recycling? A shirt like this can be made out of cotton, but it can also be made of polyester, viscose or a blend of different materials. The problem is that with our eyes, we cannot really see what it is, but luckily we have very cool technology that can help us with that. This automized sorting technology can take a wild mix of textiles and just in milliseconds understand what material it is made of, what color it has and other properties. For example, here it would learn it's made of cotton, it is white and it would just blow it directly into the right bucket with all the other white cotton. After having it all sorted, there may be one last problem to solve. Because on many textiles, you will have hard parts like these little buttons here or zippers on a pair of jeans. And after separating them, you are really good to go to feed the textiles into the recycling process. The technology has now helped us to generate high quality material streams such as white cotton or polyester. This is actually super important because the recycling routes for both are very different. But no matter which recycling route we take, it will provide us in the end with recovered or new fibers. They can then be taken, be spun into new yarns, be made into new fabrics, which are then made into new clothes. Just like this t-shirt. Scaling automized sorting of waste textiles like this t-shirt is an immense opportunity to connect the dots between waste textiles collected and fiber to fiber recycling. So what do we need to believe in? for automized sorting to happen. We believe that circularity in textiles build on these core beliefs. Cross-industry collaboration and business model innovation will be key to support profitable and long-term value creation for all. Supportive policy, legislation and incentives will drive the shift towards circularity in textiles. We truly believe that investments will be massively important. We need investments both in automized sorting and in downstream recycling technologies across the value chain and across materials, cotton, polyester, and polycotton. And finally, digitalization will be core uh, to the future of circular textile. We, as individuals, consumers, but also the industry, need to know what is the composition of a recycled t-shirt. Uh, we need to be transparent as an industry and we need to be uh, able to trace materials throughout. So this is really important. So textiles should never end up as waste. We as an industry collectively need to invest in circular textiles. We need to invest in automized sorting and we need investments in recycling technologies to enable this old t-shirt to live on as recycled material and eventually become new t-shirts.